hello city students in this tutorial we are just going to talk about the initialization of variables so every time we declare a variable we also initialize it we give it an initial value and this value needs to be decided on the basis of what that variable is and what we expect that variable variable to undergo during the algorithm so we have seen variables like sum or count what we were doing with these variables is after going through each card we change the count by one or if it is a filtering situation then if the card meets a certain condition we increment the count variable by one so this way we are supposed to get the final number of cards when we look at the count variable value at the end of it for this to work count should be initialized to zero only then each time we add a card we are adding one to this count and only then at the end of it we will get the total number of cards which satisfy our particular condition the same logic applies to sum sum also needs to be initialized to zero because the sum that we are supposed to obtain at the end of the algorithm is what we get from the cards so only when we start from zero can the sum variable actually represent the sum that has been obtained through the cards so these variables would be initialized like this these are numerical variables however we could have a text variable such as name in case of name it is text it is a string as they would call it and it is not a number so we at the end of the algorithm we expect a particular name to come out it could be the name of the highest scorer or the name of the customer who's purchased maximum something in all these cases it is not a number we are looking at therefore in order to make sure it is text we can initialize to none which is a text but we know that none is not going to be a customer's name nor is it going to be the name of a student so none is what we would initialize to names in this situation now let's discuss the situation of finding maximum or a minimum now let's imagine this is a particular range in the data what i mean is let us say these are chemistry scores then this minimum is the least chemistry score in that data and this maximum is the maximum highest chemistry score in that data and all the scores are falling within this range so to give you an example in the actual data the minimum was 43 and the maximum was 93 so if in order to find the maximum if i took a maximum variable and initialized it to say 94 that would be very wrong because it will never get updated to 93 because it's always greater than every score on the sheet so this is wrong likewise if i initialize the minimum variable to say 35 this would also be wrong because it is always going to be lesser than everything in the data thus this is also a wrong initialization and what happens often is you wouldn't know what is the actual data range in the data set so suppose you didn't know these these values all you know is there is this particular range within which your data will fall so the maximization is best done lesser than the maximum so you keep it lesser than the possible range for example this range here is going to be 0 and 100 this is the range suppose and 
that case, in order to make sure you get the maximum, you would initialize the maximum variable to this point. This would be your chosen initialization because every value in this data set is going to be greater than this. Likewise, you could choose the minimum variable to be here, which is 100 because you know that every value in this data set is going to be lesser than 100. So it will be lesser than this particular value. So your actual minimum will be found. But often we wouldn't, we can't know what is the least possible and max possible. So we don't know what is the allowed range for a certain variable. So in that case, what do you do? Well, if your variable is certainly positive, so its upper bound could be something, but you know it is positive, then the max should be initialized to 0 or some negative number. You could even do minus 1. So definitely every value in the data set is going to be greater than this. And supposing you have you don't know the range again, but you know it is some finite value, then for minimization, you should use some sort of a meaningful logic. Ideally, you should use the largest number that the system provides to you. But you could use a meaningful logic such as suppose it is the smallest word in, uh, in the paragraph data set. So we know that a word can't be very long. So let us say we take 1000 as our initialization for the shortest word length. And obviously there is no word which has 1000 letters in it. And therefore when you perform the operation, you will always land at the actual smallest word in the data set. So in this way, you have to use your knowledge about the data and its range in order to initialize your maximum variables and minimum variables properly. Thank you.